To perform the rest and finish machining of the main pocket, you have to define an I rest and I finish operation. First, create a copy of the current I machining operation. Click the Save and Copy button. The current I machining operation dialog box closes and the copied operation automatically opens. Click the drop down menu under Technology and change the operation type to I rest. The copied geometry selections from the previous IRUF operation are used for this iRest operation. By clicking the Show button on the Geometry page, you can view the defined machining geometry. Click Cancel to exit the Show Geometry dialog box. Switch to the Tool page. Currently, the copied 9.5mm end mill is selected for the operation but is not suitable to perform rest machining of the main pocket. Click the Select button to display the Choosing Tool for Operation dialog box. In the Part Tool table, select Tool number 2, the smaller 6.5mm end mill. Switch to the iData tab. This tool has a 35 degree helical angle and is matched to achieve good ACPs. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page. The copied milling levels from the previous iRuff operation are used for this iRest operation. On the Technology Wizard page, the default cutting conditions are used with a machining level aggressiveness of 6. On the Technology page, the step down and cutting angles generated by the wizard are shown. By default, a 0.12mm allowance will be left on the walls. For the purpose of this exercise, Leave the Corners Only checkbox in the Rest Material area disabled. Switch to the iRest Data tab. The previous iRuff operation is selected as the parent operation by default, and the fields are automatically filled with the three important values needed for calculating rest material. At this point, the operation can be calculated, and the iMachining toolpath can be viewed on the model. Name the operation iRest Main Pocket. Click Save and Calculate, and then click Simulate. Click the Play button to view the iMachining toolpath at work. The tool feeds down into the pocket and performs the rest machining. The tool first takes a pass along the walls of the pocket. It then clears the corners and other areas unreachable by the previous roughing tool, and finally takes a pass around the island. Close the simulation control panel with the exit button, to display the iMachining Operation dialog box. Next, define the finish machining of the main pocket. Again, create a copy of the current iMachining Operation by clicking the Save and Copy button. The current iMachining Operation dialog box closes and the copied operation automatically opens. Click the drop down menu under Technology and change the operation type to iFinish. The copied machining geometry, 6.5mm tool, and milling levels from the previous iRest operation are used for this iFinish operation. On the Technology Wizard page, the default cutting conditions are used with a machining level aggressiveness of 6. On the Technology page, the step down and cutting angles generated by the wizard are shown. By default, the wall island offset is now set to 0. Switch to the iRest data tab. The previous iRest operation is selected as the parent operation by default, and the fields are automatically filled with the three important values needed for calculating rest material. At this point, the operation can be calculated, and the iMachining toolpath can be viewed on the model. Name the operation iFinish Main Pocket. Click Save and Calculate, and then click Simulate. Click the Play button to view the iMachining toolpath at work. The tool feeds down into the pocket and performs finishing of the corners first. It then takes a finish pass along the walls of the pocket, followed by a finish pass around the island. Using the exit buttons, close the simulation control panel and the iMachining operation dialog box. At this stage, step 2 is complete and the roughing, rest machining, and finishing of the main pocket is defined. If you have not followed along, 
Apply and practice the procedures shown in these videos to define the eye rough, eye rest, and eye finish operations to complete the machining of the main pocket.